How much protective gear should you put on your enduro bike? What do you think are the essentials? If you look at the pro-level enduro riders, they often add nothing at all, not even a carbon fiber exhaust guard. As an experiment, I kept my brand new Sherco 300 SE completely standard. <laughs> I wanted to see how long it took to mangle it. More on that later. First, why do the pro enduro riders use so little protection? Well, except for condoms with all their groupies. Did you know most of the best hard enduro riders are actually aliens and freaks? They rarely crash, their technique is so good, they rarely need exhaust guards or linkage guards. At their skill level, even a set of full wrap hand guards adds enough weight to affect steering. And it adds a bit more width to the bars so they clip trees more. The emphasis is on keeping the bike as light as possible. If they do wreck an exhaust pipe, they have spares back in the pit. And exhaust guards can hold in too much heat in race conditions. Oh, you're getting close. The only added protection used regularly by pro riders seems to be a front brake disc protector and occasionally a rear disc protector, a bigger clutch cover, which allows slightly larger oil capacity and a bit more strength. Most of us are derp muppets. We crash more often. We slam our skid plates into logs. We ride through rocks with all the grace of a bull in a china shop. So the question is how much bike protection do we need? <laughs> well, there's no right answer for everyone. Here is a sample of what you can fit on your beast. <laughs> this protective gear can easily weigh 12 kilograms or more. So are you obsessed with keeping your bike light? you will probably choose less protection. What about riding style? Do you think your way through tough terrain? Or do you throw yourself into gnarly conditions and just hope for the best? If you never ride in rocky terrain, there is a lot of gear you probably won't need. Are you happy to fix things yourself? Some riders spend a lot of money on heavy guards for two-stroke exhaust pipes, but for half the price, you can buy a repair kit that uses air pressure or water pressure to fix your bent pipe. The same with radiator guards. An alternative, just carry some JB Weld in your tool kit to plug any leaks. And when you get home, straighten your radiator again. Ditto with crankcase protectors. If you carry JB Weld in your toolkit, you can usually do a repair job that will get you home again. <laughs> I remember fixing a busted crankcase and kept using it for another six months. <laughs> so what happened with my experiment and my unprotected brand new Sherco? Well, it had one benefit. It definitely made me think my way through tough terrain. I really focused carefully on good log hopping technique so I didn't wreck my exhaust. My first damage, after three months I dropped the Sherco at a standstill and it broke the clutch perch. $330 to replace. <laughs> Ouch. I fitted full wrap handguards the following week. A month later, a crash at walking pace bent one of the radiators. It still works, but I'll straighten it soon and fit some radiator braces. The Sherco came standard with a very solid plastic bash plate. If it didn't, I would have fitted a bash plate immediately. We ride over so many logs and rocks, I would have caused expensive damage quickly. And that's my total damage list after 40 enduro rides. Not bad. My personal recommendation? I think full wrap hand guards will be a great idea for all average dirt riders. We have a video about the pros and cons of different types. Ditto for the bash plate or skid plate. Even if you only occasionally hop logs or ride through big rocks, the potential repair costs make this a good investment for most riders. Oh, fuck. <laughs> for all the other protective gear, I think it depends on all those factors mentioned earlier. How important is lightweight? What's your riding style? The amount of rocky terrain? Are you into hard enduro? And are you happy to fix stuff? 
I think the next level of protection potentially includes radiator braces, disc guards, exhaust guard for two strokes, and a linkage guard. The rest, just optional, in my opinion. A speedo protector, if your bike is regularly upside down, <laughs> you should probably work more on your technique than protecting your speedo. Case saver, if you maintain your chain properly, you should have minimal risk with breaking your crankcase. Chain guide, some enduro models have fairly weak chain guides. If your chain regularly comes off in rocky terrain, a heavy duty chain guide could be worthwhile. Frame guards and swing arm protectors, well, these are really just preventing scratches, so certainly not essential in my opinion. What do you think is essential? What is optional? Oh, fuck. What is the current setup on your bike? Let us know in the comments.